Hey, JC Mill with Cross Plus Outdoors. Welcome back. Uh, hey, we're going to do um, EDC bag restock. We uh, This is going to be a continuation of our EDC bag, uh, but I want to talk about restock. I, I see a lot of videos, uh, and I've done it with uh, uh, having an EDC bag, but I also mentioned in my past video uh, to use your EDC bag every day. And uh, uh, the biggest thing is, is restocking and knowing what you use and restocking. I, I use mine every day. I try to try to go through it. Uh, uh, try to clean it, organize it. Uh, just going through through your bag. I, I learned this from uh, uh, BA over at Step One Survival. Just going through your bag and knowing where everything's at is important. Uh, so I, I, I want to stress that. Uh, but also uh, restocking it, maintaining it. And we're going to talk about, uh, uh, for example, flashlights. This uh, little Surefire uh, USB. We're going to talk about recharging that. Uh, we're talking about carrying spare batteries or make sure your batteries are fresh in your flashlight. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, medicine. Uh, this medicine bottle's a little low. We're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about a few uh, addition of, of some of some rounds. We're going to talk about uh, uh, using some stuff out of our little packages, our first aid kit, and we're going to talk about a couple additions for some uh, medicine. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. All right, now we're set up on on the bench. I like working here. There's a little more room. Um, but again, uh, talking about uh, the EDC bag and, and restocking it, uh, it's extremely important, one, to, to use your EDC and to go through it as, it, it, just like it says, an everyday carry. Uh, you should use everything in there. You should put stuff in there that you use, whether it's your EDC bag, whether it's a, a larger EDC bag, or it's your uh, any, any type of kit that's in your in your car truck uh, you, sh you should always always use it. I'm a firm believer in that I've been taught that from from uh, a lot of other channels um, make sure you get through your bag make sure you use it put the con put stuff in there that that, that you're going to use a lot of people will buy stuff put stuff in there and they go oh I, I'm only going to use that in case of emergency well uh, if you get proficient with, uh, with with using your stuff and you know what's in there and you know what works and, and doesn't work uh, you may put something in that uh, you may not like and all of a sudden you get to a situation um, and, and I know in a in a situation you're gonna you're gonna use what you have but it'd be nice to have things in there that you know uh, work that you're gonna use and that's why I go back to uh, uh, using it every day so let's get started on this uh, one thing about medicine I was at the range a couple weeks ago with the couple of my buddies and um, he had a really bad headache and for whatever reason he didn't have aspirin in, in, in his EDC bag. Um, I always carry, uh, uh, you could carry ibuprofen, Motrin, I, I, I carry Tylenol, but um, I, I just hand it to him. I say, hey, put, put this in your truck so at least you have something because you don't know what's going to happen from the time you leave. Going back, I, I live I live much closer. I could uh, I can hike to the house. He he can't, so I gave him that. But I got to remember to replenish that. So I got home and grabbed a bunch of Tylenol, and uh, I buy these little Ziploc bags. You get them from from Amazon, but these are really good just to put individual uh, items in. I use these for medicine. One thing I started doing is, uh, if you guys can see, I got uh, medicine, and uh, this is obviously a a, a primary uh, to carry next to next to a. Couple other important items, but uh, got to carry your medicine. I'll be restocking this uh, tonight. I usually carry about a 14-day supply with me, but I also started uh, putting my medicine in in little pouches too. In addition, and what usually happens if I go somewhere inside for a long duration of time and I'm not able to carry the EDC bag because of the venue or something like that, I'll grab a handful of items and you could see me do do a pocket kit. We talked about that in, in another video. But I'll throw these in with a few other items and just make sure I have some medicine. I, I don't find I get stuck somewhere. Uh, I know I can only go maybe a couple days without my medicine, but, but that's it. And so make, make that an important part. Um, the other thing, too, um, you know, some people have, have some challenges. Um, diabetes is one. I always carry pens with me. You want to make sure that you, that you stay stocked. This thing starts getting down. I'll rotate it out, put a full one back in the bag. Um, but also, uh, excuse me. Also, uh, you want to make sure you carry some some spare needles, some spare parts with you, j just in case. Okay. Um, one thing I do use out of here, and I use uh, 
Notice lately I've been using a lot of hand wipes. I'm always washing my hands or try, trying to stay as, as clean as possible because you never know what you pick up when, when you're out there in public. But these these come out of this this bag here. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in here, but I also picked up a little little small packet of wet ones. I'm gonna throw those here in the EDC bag. Um, they're good to have. You can pick them up at Walmart for pretty cheap, a couple bucks. But uh, if you're gonna go through through a lot of them. I'd, I'd have some in there individually wrapped just for some backup and also have some in there just for every everyday use because we do go qu through quite a few, especially when I'm uh, handing them to the family and stuff like that. And the other thing that came out of this package here were some eyeglass wipes. I, I wear glasses, so it's important to uh, keep your glasses clean. I use this plus some additional cloth, but uh, th these came out of this, this package here, so I'm going to be replenishing uh, this here and this is basically my ointments and and one other item. I forgot sorry about that is is uh, Pepto Bismo uh, Pulled one out the other day. I always try to carry two sets of tablets in there package 20, but that's going to come come right out of here This will be in conjunction with uh, with my little first day with a little boo-boo kit. It's got some band-aids got some q-tips got uh, um, a Few gauze pads got some burn cream some ointment and stuff like that get this stuff out of the way. One thing uh, I do carry is a little uh, a Surefire uh, light, this little keychain light. I use this really, um, uh, it could go, go go in my pocket. Um, I, I do carry three three flashlights in the EDC kit. Um, <clears throat> as far as my everyday carry on me, I do carry another flashlight. So at one time I have about four, uh, four lights on me. Uh, probably some comments are gonna go, wow, that's, that's really excessive, JC. It's not. Um, about a month ago, headed up to the, the homestead, and, and I, I hate to admit this, but I'm going to. Um, didn't have the key with us, and if you ever go in, in the mountains or middle of nowhere where it's pitch dark, you don't have enough flashlights. So anyways, uh, one thing I try to do with this every couple weeks is, is, is charge it up. It's got a little USB charge right there, so we're just going to take a portable uh, pack, we'll plug this in here, turn this on. And this thing's going to charge. I'll go and leave this bag here in the, on the bench overnight, and then I'll come back, restock it, and that thing will be fully charged. I did switch out uh, flashlights. I <clears throat> found this new Maglite uh, Tactical. It's it, it's really good. It's it's got a, a on-off. It's got a strobe. Uh, but anyways, I, I I like the feel of it. We're going to be doing a flashlight uh, video here. Uh, I'm I'm kind of a a, a light guy. And I've been through a, a lot of lights, and we're going to talk about the different ones. But uh, anyways, make sure you maintain your batteries on here. I try to rotate the batteries every couple months, bring them in, throw them in the remote, throw them in something that's not as critical, and put some fresh uh, bat batteries in here. We have talked about uh, 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 our, our tools of, of, of the bag. Again, uh, uh, another flashlight, which is which is a, a, a Surefire. Uh, these are uh, CR123s. These do have a better shelf life. I don't worry about these. Let me, let me grab one. I don't worry about the CR123s. Excuse me, as as much. Everybody see that? Uh, these shelf lives are, are five years. I've had them sitting around in, in boxes for years. I have them up up at the homestead. I don't worry about them as much, so I don't rotate them. Um, I know they're good. I try to keep track of the use on them. If I get up to two, three hours and, and I'm using it, then I'm going to just rotate the CR123s out for something uh, here at the house where I have boxes of them and something that's portable. I'll put fresh batteries, but again, I don't worry about them as much. One thing I think uh, I, I do, especially if uh, this is not always carried on me, sometimes it goes in the bag and I'll just take this out, throw it into my pocket, is I'll run, um, I'll run some of the I got my range mag in here. I'm gonna switch that back out. Just caught that, but I like wiping everything down, getting the lint off them and stuff like that. Last thing you want to do is uh, have it sit in a bag, have them sit in your pocket, collect lint, and before you know it, uh, you you've got a failure. You know, I carry a magazine here, magazine on me. Uh, like Westwind Survival says, and he said it the other day, which is really good. I, don't carry a magazine because I'm going to get into some big shootout to carry a, a spare magazine in case of a malfunction. But you got to make sure you keep this thing uh, maintained also too. Um, anyways, that's the that's the tools. The addition I did make the other day, I saw it on a channel, and forgive me, I, I can't remember where I saw it on, and I wanted to do a shout out to them, but I took an old medicine cabinet and um, I put 17 rounds of, of, of 9 mil, okay, and I throw them right there. 
I figure um, worse comes worse, I could grab this out of my bag, I could throw it in, in, my, in my pocket. It's it, it's not that big, as you can see, just an old pill I had laying around. But um, and it, you know what? I, I saw it on Step One Survival. He's running some 22 rounds in a in a pill bar. and I save all, all all my old ones. So I plant plenty of them laying around. But uh, that's where I got it from. Um, Anyways, uh, so this is an addition to EDC kit, so um, 15, 15, and then 17 in here, and um, if I can't make it back to the truck or something like that, but this is a new addition I, I wanted to share. We talked about uh, uh, carrying a, a Bic lighter, which I, I've talked about. I carry one on me all the time. It's interesting. Dakota and I had to dress up and go out there tonight for, for a Christmas party, and I think my slacks were sagging from all my EDC stuff that I had, had on me. But anyways, uh, I always carry a big lighter. But one thing I have added to the EDC bag are uh, a couple uh, Zippo lighters. Um, I do sm smoke a pipe, so uh, this is the uh, the uh, pipe pipe version here. One nice thing about this is you could get it down on on things, and it's it's pretty pretty versatile. Uh, this was not by design. It's just something I've had for many, many years lay laying around. And then I just have a regular one. Uh, seems like uh, the older I get, the harder to see. So that black doesn't show up very good in, in a black bag. Um, but always maintain your, your Zippo lighters is, is, is the point. Okay. I try to go through them every week. I, I refill them. I, um, I coat them, um, take them apart. And I got to do this. And you can see the Vaseline on there. I take the Vaseline and I just I coat this and uh, what it does is it seals it up keeps it from evaporating as much there's a bunch of little tricks to a Zippo you should you should you should look at but um, slide that back in there wipe off the excess my hands my hands are always dry anyways you've got yourself a little seal around there that's uh, able to uh, um, seal up the fuel up so keep that in mind I always like to ma maintain the um, uh, the Zippos with some Zippos I, I, I buy this I think it's a couple bucks at, at Walmart I, I always carry about 10 cans laying around you never know you can throw them right in your uh, bag or something like that but these as a matter of fact I gotta get a new one anyways that's the EDC restock uh, hope you enjoyed if you have any ideas uh, leave, leave them leave them down below in the comments um, Share whatever you do with your EDC bag, um, how often you maintain it or how often you, you, you get into it. And I appreciate you watching. Um, enjoy your next outdoor adventure and stay prepared.